Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. Today we are in March 1st and we're going to kick off and uh, start spreading some lime so that way we can get our fields ready to go here. Um, so the first thing that we got to do is we gotta move some equipment around because we need this spreader and we're gonna use the 8400 here and uh, let's see what all can we do from in here Oh, that's hazards. We don't want that. Oh boy. Okay. That enables cruise. There we go. That's the button that we want. Alright. Let's get this guy out. And... We're going to leave that guy sit there for a minute. Um, then we also need to move the versatile, uh, it's not the versatile, <laughs> um, we need to move this guy, and this guy we're just going to pull out, and we're going to pull around to the back side of the building here, because this is going to get hooked up to our air seeder eventually here. So we're just going to pull it right down here along the trees like so. And then, and we do still need to move the headers. Uh, we did pick up this Quonset and bins up here. So then we also actually have a little more hay ground as well uh, up there that we can cut. And we'll jump in our Mac here. can sit right there okay we should be able to get the spreader out now let's uh, take a look here let's see if we can get in and get it out and I forgot to Turn the manual attaching back on because I had it off while I was moving all this stuff here. I'm going to turn that down since apparently I can. Um, where is. There it is. Okay. Definitely a little tight in here. But we got her out, so let's bring it over here now. Okay, so we have lime in the end bin, so we need our conveyor. So let's go get this set up on our bin here. Smooth that out a little more, I see. Still some final adjustments, but the yard is definitely getting there I 
really wish uh, we had a Brant conveyor similar to uh, what we use at the farm that I work on. up right away. And we're going to angle it out of the bin so that way it makes it a little easier to fill. Or to get in there and fill I should say. Perfect. Right there will work. Let's jump in the tractor here. Get our cover off. up and we'll start filling it. And we'll shut that guy off jump back in here and let's go off to our first field so we're gonna go all the way down to field 22 which is one of our new fields this year and uh, we'll get moving so we do have GPS on a few things this year as well which is uh, going to be a nice improvement for us this year. Um, should help with things. It is a quite nice tractor. So as we're going on down the road here, take a look so we are headed all the way down here to this field um, if we take a look here so 22 23 59 and 60 are going to be our sunflower fields this year and then we're gonna have corn in 24 25 and 39 uh, 33 and 37 are gonna be beans and then 26 and 27 are going to be our oats. So definitely going to have quite a bit of a variety of crops this year. Um, and quite a bit more land. So hopefully we should make a decent amount of money. And then uh, we can pay off some of this equipment. And uh, expand even further. It is going to cut down our time having to drive back and forth with this spreader. Um, it is going to be a little unfortunate, but another thing that we could do is uh, we could always bring the conveyor and a straight truck out to the field, um, or we could also look into... Um, maybe trading off one of our straight trucks and get a tender truck instead. Or even adding a tender truck to the fleet, but we might, uh, we might trade off a straight truck, we'll see. So we may actually end up loading our drill with seed right in the yard. Um, we did pick up a bunch of 
boxes. Alright, where are we at here? Okay, so 22 is... Whoops. Straight ahead of us here. I need to unfold the spreader. Alright, well let's do that quick. And uh, off we go. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to set it so it's sunny. So we can actually see what we're doing here. not really going to be able to. Okay. Well, that's all right. We will make do. At least we do have the ability to use GPS, so I didn't think of it right away on this field. What we should have done is set the ground type to be a little bit different look. kind of spaced out doing that this time around which is okay we'll make like I said we'll make do with it on this field it uh, definitely will help having the GPS And so we'll set it up on that straight edge there. So let's get some GPS set up. Uh, we need the lines showing 80 and a half feet. And we'll name this Bill the Spreader. Do need to rotate that 90 degrees. And we want it to overlap there just a little bit. And off we go. burning on through the lime but hopefully that one bin of it that we have should be plenty if not then we will uh, we can always run to the co-op and get more lime Especially once we're over in that area, if it's needed, then we can uh, pretty easily pop over there. Oh, the field does shift, okay. That's alright. button. 
Actually turned it off instead of engaging it. It's my bad. So I'm not too sure if this one load is going to be enough for this field. Definitely going to, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to go back and reload before this field is done. I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, spare you guys the long boring drive back to the farm and coming back to the field and uh, we'll just cut the video quick and then run down and do that Okay, I will run back to the farm, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, and we are pulling back in now. <clears throat> we just got to find where we left off. We'll uh, use the... Um, HUD there, or the mini map, to help guiding us in uh, where we need to be. This shouldn't take us too much longer. <clears throat> and then uh, I think Jim is going to be showing up to take over for us. Um, I just wanted to get everything good to go, make sure everything was calibrated for him. And uh, set for him, so that way he should, in theory, be able to have at it without uh, any issues, hopefully. So, um, he'll come take over for us, that way we can go get the air seeder hooked up and get uh, things set on there make sure that we're ready to rock so from here he is going to go to field 26 which is going to be right here he's going to get 26 and 27 done for us so that way we can get uh, started on seeding because if we take a look here at our calendar so we can put our oats and our sunflowers in. Uh, so we need, actually we need to get the planter ready too, but um, 
I think this is what we're going to be using for our planter tractor. So we'll have to kind of wait until he gets the sunflower ground spread. Which I believe if we look. Yeah, so this is one of them. Um, and then we've also got field 23 that needs to get done as well. Um, for sunflowers, but he's going to jump on to our oat ground first, so that way we can get that knocked out, and then he's going to keep on working on our uh, sunflower ground after that. All right. Well, there is this field done. So we'll come over here to field 23. Now, before we get started, we're going to come in here, set field ground for 23. We're just going to put it to cultivated. Confirm. There we go. So now, we should, in theory, be able to see where we spread. Not exactly. That's alright. It's a little better than uh, what it was. Shift over here just a little bit. Make sure that we get every part of the field. All right, and we are once again out of line. So, we are nearing the end of the video, so I think I'm just going to end it here, and I'm going to uh, take this back, load it up, and then uh, we might send it on its way so we can go start getting the drill ready to go and uh, get ready for that so next video we will uh, come back and we will 
work on seeding some oats and uh, getting all that started. So thanks everybody for tuning in today. Hope you all enjoyed the video and we'll catch you all in the next one.